right now. Hey, Ev. hey there, Rob. Yeah, we are looking at very windy conditions. Red flag warning indeed, as you just mentioned, going into effect right now. High wind warnings and advisories out there as well. Take a look right here. A look over the basin this evening, and we are dealing with very well windy conditions but mostly clear conditions on top of that. Red flag warnings again just going into effect pretty much across the entire Southland. And with that, we're looking at windy conditions, warm conditions and dry conditions. The combination of the three making for red flag conditions out there. Several other advisories and again warnings in store in the light blue area on your screen. We've got a wind advisory in store. We also have high wind warnings in store. They're already in effect lasting through tomorrow afternoon expecting wind gusts in some of our mountain locations possibly up to 60 plus miles an hour. So we're going to show you your peak wind gusts. We're going to show you how windy it is right now and what you can expect as we head to the weekend. All of that coming up in just a little bit. So don't go away. Turn on, don't leave on your electronics. Listen to the flight yes. attendants. You wouldn't think you could make that much of an impact. Right. I guess I can. And there was always sort of the rumor that it really doesn't. So you're like, oh, okay, it doesn't. But it's good to know that it really yeah, does. It really yeah. does. It really anyway, does. we are headed into the weekend. It's Friday. Where's my Friday dance? Friday dance. There we go. <laughs> it's not my Friday. I'm not dancing. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I always rub it in with you. always burn me on that. So you got to be careful. <laughs> Rob will be here tomorrow But for most of us who have the weekend off, it's going to be beautiful, I hope. It's going right? to be gorgeous. The one thing we do have to watch out for is the wind. Mm -hmm. The wind is persisting as we head into the weekend here. It's going to continue on through tomorrow evening, and then things are going to calm down. We've got lots of warnings, lots of advisories to talk about until we get there. So, of course, we have to use caution as we head into tomorrow. It will be a warm day, but it will be windy, and it will be dry. So the combination making for red flag contisions out there. Uh, you're going to see right here, uh, look from our Blue Ridge camera this evening. And we are dealing with mostly clear skies, minimal cloud cover and plenty of sunshine by tomorrow afternoon with temperatures starting to drop off just a little bit, but pretty mild out there overall. We're currently in the 60s right here at the broadcast center in Studio City, 63 degrees. And there we go. Red flag warnings already in effect pretty much across the entire Southland this evening. And we're going to continue to see red flag conditions stay in effect through at least six o'clock tomorrow evening. Wind advisories and warnings in effect through three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. For the most part, the higher elevations, we could potentially see wind gusts up to 60 miles miles an hour and of course we're going to have those peak wind gusts from earlier today for you in just a little bit but we do want to show you current conditions out there because they're still quite impressive sustained wind speeds coming out of the north to the northeast these are your offshore winds your warm dry winds creating for fire conditions out there 21 miles per hour for Santa Clarita Castaic at 22 Chatsworth at 19 as we head over to the higher elevations. We are looking at wind gusts in the teens and over to the San Fernando Valley. You're going to see Encino 11 mile an hour winds for you. Burbank you're at nine miles an hour and for the high desert 10 to 12 mile an hour winds between Lancaster and Palmdale and the Leona Valley also looking at double digit winds heading over to the Orange County coastline to Huntington in particular 14 mile an hour winds and up to Long Beach. You're currently at 11 miles an hour out to Corona, 11 miles an hour for you and Whittier, a little calmer at six miles an hour. So we are taking you through your forecast model right here because we are dealing with very windy conditions and you're going to see just that. How do you know? Well, take a look at the contours here. The warmer colors on your screen indicating the windiest spots. You're going to see, well, when the lines right here get closer together, that means it's very windy. You're going to see that right here. Then when you see the pink, the orange, the red, that all indicates very windy conditions as well. Take look pretty much the entire Southland looking at wind and that's going to persist into the morning hours tomorrow. Remember we're still under the advisories and the warnings as we head into tomorrow by the afternoon. The wind starting to slack off a little bit and by six o'clock tomorrow evening still breezy out there, but we are expecting conditions to start to calm down and all the advisories and warnings to expire. We're going to have that extended forecast coming up for you in just a little bit, so don't go away. Rob and Sharon back to you. And we're looking at a very warm but windy forecast. We're going to have all the details coming up in just a little bit. What? Yeah, yeah, oh. but it's okay. It's okay. There's there's still a chance. We sold them, but oh, okay. what are you going to do? You have two you more can, you'll nights. get them again. Yeah. yeah.
There we go. Yeah. We'll get him again. But it looks great. So uh, hopefully we'll get the chance to see that. Uh, other than that, though, as we head into the weekend, if you're going to Cirque du Soleil or if you're going to be outside, it's going to be pretty nice out there. But it is windy and we do have red flag conditions. So that's something to watch out for at this point. Taking you outside, getting a look at the basin tonight, you're going to see mostly clear conditions, windy conditions as well. Red flag warnings already kicking in for almost everybody at this point. And we are dealing with very windy, dry and warm conditions over the next 24 hours. So with that red flag conditions, also looking at wind advisories and high wind warnings staying staying in effect through tomorrow afternoon in the higher elevations, wind gusts close to 60 miles an hour. That's going to persist through tomorrow and you'll see windy conditions right now. Gorman 17 miles an hour right there through the grapevine. And remember, these are your sustained wind speeds. So peak wind gusts are even higher than this. And speaking of peak wind gusts, we do want to show you some peak wind gusts. This is since four o'clock this afternoon. Simi Valley, you got up to 40 miles an hour. Malibu Hills, 49 miles an hour. Chilau, 54 miles an hour. Whitaker Peak, 39. And the New Hall Pass, one of the windiest spots of the day, 55 mile an hour wind gusts for you. So very windy conditions. And again, this is persisting through tomorrow and that mixed with the warm conditions and the dry conditions making for critical fire weather out there. So more on the wind, but we do want to move on to temperatures. You're going to see 40s, 50s, 60s out there earlier today made it to 78 in downtown exactly 10 degrees above average for this time of year and over the next 24 hours 50s and 60s by the afternoon we're up to 78 degrees for downtown up to 74 for the beach Riverside 76 and Woodland Hills you're getting up to 77 degrees by the time we hit tomorrow afternoon your five day forecast showing you 70s across the board upper 70s getting down to low 70s with a little cloud cover as low pressure starts to move in Monday to Tuesday even into Wednesday then you're going to see right here next five day forecast showing you that same pattern warm all week weekend long, but windy and warm as well, and then cooling it down Monday into Tuesday, a little warmer by Wednesday. Sharon and Rob, back to you. Mm -hmm.